How awesome are tech forks? Can the tech forks be better? Stay tuned and watch through the video. They can be better, 100%. The small wheel trial is really taking a toll on me. <laughs> Anyways, I've got something to rave about and it's the not regular tech suspension. So we all know tech forks are very good forks. Every brand of bike is tuned. I guess I would say to each individual professional rider helps tune in. Okay, take two, now the fucking dog stopped barking. So, anyways, every uh, factory model of the trials bike that comes with tech suspension, they 
have a certain tuning uh, depending on the brand, depending on the factory writer and their preferences. So the Scorpa came in a little bit on the stiff side from factory. So that stiffness in the dampening uh, creates a little bit of a push on the front end. And if any of you have ridden a Montessa, I guarantee you the first thing that you've noticed is how smooth the suspension is. So that made us dig into the tech suspension and we know Montessa's now, I think the 2016 and 17 models, maybe up to like 2022 or 2020, I don't know exactly when they've changed it, but they ran uh, tech forks on the front. So now, you, if you take a 2022 or a 23 Montessa, they come with Showa suspension. And we were questioning ourselves, like, what is different in uh, suspension? Everything looks identical. So we sent it to a guy in Squamish named Spencer. And this is a shout out to Spencer. So if anybody wants to go through this, go see Spencer because he does awesome work. Anyways, he figured out that the outside tubes, uh, they're the same diameter. Everything internally is the same. However, the Showa suspension they have a different spec uh, to build their forks. So that spec goes for the valving. So the shim stack is probably a little bit on the softer side. And there is, which is visually visible right from the get go, is a nut and a washer that's sitting in the middle of the rod in a little groove. Uh, and that creates the bottoming resistance uh, you know what i'm gonna look at spencer's text message and i'm gonna exactly tell you what it means all right so we've got the exact words from spencer and obviously the guy understands the suspension so the nut and the washer that i have noticed on the middle uh, of the rod uh, gives the damper softer bottom out control so with the changes that spencer has done to the high speed compression stack, uh, which will give you a smaller bump compliance. And that's exactly what I'm noticing is coming in to these off camber turns, you've got a bit of chunder, so cool. off camber roots, and the bike complies. It pretty much stays on the ground, it tracks, it wants to turn, it doesn't want to push. So there is a there is a risk of an abrupt bottom out that's why he has added the nut and the washer on the middle of the rod as the fork passes through the mid stroke uh, more easily so that reduces uh, the bottom out and then what else has been changed on there the compression stack uh, which is the valving is probably your shim stack so that pretty much explains the differences between uh, the Scorpa spec or even gas gas TRS uh, TRS forks are also very spiky if you will now the bike complies what I did notice is so everything has gotten softer your compression stack is softer what you have to be mindful of now you've lost a little bit of energy on your front end so if you want to do a bit of a front wheel hop the energy is gone and also when you are dropping down a square edge you are guaranteed i'm a heavier guy you are guaranteed going to use all of your travel and i've actually you can see right here going right to the bottom so i'm using all of the suspension right now uh, you have to anticipate that you can't just like roll in especially being a heavier guy you're rolling into a square edge and think oh it's it's just gonna save me you have to do a little bit of a body language in there as well pull back lift the front end yada 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 etc but right now the good thing is you're using all your suspension i haven't really done any uh anything major but you know any steep downhills uh turns and a bit of drops so it, it it's awesome it rides well from my initial 
test I did turn in a quarter on my compression setting the oil level I have left exactly the same that was at the factory I've got 20 clicks out on the compression um, the preload nut so I've turned that in a uh, quarter turn did I say compression anyways preload nut to stiffen it up a bit what I'm gonna try to do is I've got a heavier duty spring at home for the front and back and as a test maybe for a different video I will do a spring upgrade for my weight what I did find in the past though putting those heavier springs in my TRS is that it didn't really make the bike feel that much better like it would help you on big drops or square edges it totally roll out way better but you've lost that compliance on the front end you've lost that traction which is important you've got slimy roots right now uh, you've got drops loose dirt off camber and that's not where you need your bottoming out uh, resistance this is where you need that grip to do this upgrade uh, through Spencer he's in Squamish if you are looking to do it you're looking at about 250 280 bucks for the core so Spencer will build you a cartridge for the right leg of the bike all you do at home is remove the top nut drain the oil remove the bottom nut take the cartridge out super easy to do and it's way worth it take that cartridge with you from bike to bike this is totally worth it best 250 280 bucks have spent uh 50 50 hours on the bike and you saw the oil was horrible looking and we are riding in very wet environment the west coast it freaking rains here all the time and i would just do the oil every 20 25 hours it's not that hard to do but the suspension feels fresh the bike feels tight it doesn't feel sloppy doesn't suspension doesn't get aerated as much so anyways it's an amazing upgrade the tech suspension is already awesome out of the box show us specs are just mwah, they're just absolutely amazing and i think it'll improve your riding it'll improve your trust i think the trust is the biggest thing you're hitting a rock face with your front end and what i did notice with this bike in the past is you, you get deflection in your bars so now i can roll into the rock and the bike just points straight it does not divert anywhere it just goes up same goes with log hopping, uh, riding over anything that requires you to plant your front end when you're going up. So anyways, keep that in mind. I'm absolutely raving about this. It's fantastic. And uh, yeah, we got a small wheel trial tomorrow. And I got a kid over there. Let's see, he's so tiny you can't see him. I got to zoom in on him. All right, so peace out, ride safe.